Welcome to the Home Fashion Shoe class on how to make a no-sew Roman shade. In this class, we will be discussing the styles of Roman shades, the best fabrics and linings to use, how to measure for Roman shades, how to calculate your fabric, and how to pattern match your fabric, the supplies and tools that you will need, and the work area that you will need to square your fabric shade. We will include step-by-step -step instructions for making the shade, cord placement and cord locks, and how to install a Roman shade. We will be covering child safety shade measures. This slide shows several styles of Roman shade. First we have a relaxed Roman shade and you'll note that the cords have been moved in from the outer edge of the shade and this creates that lovely fan folded effect at each side that technically makes this a London shade. A flat fold Roman shade is perfectly flat when it is in the down position and it creates folds as it is raised. A balloon shade is created by adding fullness to the top of the shade. This creates that lovely balloon-like effect at the bottom. In this case, it's gathered. A flat stitched shade is one that has a rib sewn into the face of the fabric. It creates a very crisp look. Next, we have a pleated relaxed Roman, and you'll note there's a small pleat in the center of the shade that gives it just a little added fullness at the bottom, and in this case, the cords are on the outside of the shade. Next, we have a hobbled shade, and this is where there is actual fullness added between the ribs, and it gives the shade a lovely, soft, full look when it is in the down position as well as when it's in the up position. The pleated balloon gives you the same balloon shape at the bottom, but it's created by a box pleat at the top as opposed to shirring. An Austrian shade is gathered or shirred along the cord line, creating a very full, lovely shade. Mostly this Austrian shade is done in a sheer fabric. Roman shade patterns are available. Two that are shown here are patterns that were designed by Liz Ware. They're details patterns. They can be purchased at the Home Fashion Zoo. Liz is presently revamping the patterns for child safety. You'll see the one on the left is the top-down, bottom-up shade with a small valance. This allows you to have light and privacy at the same time. The pattern on the right is really neat and unusual. It's a pattern that allows you to use different fabrics and create layers in your shade. Really a neat look. The best fabrics for Roman shades. Cotton is the strongest of the natural fabrics. It's commonly used as a drapery fabric because of its versatility. It dyes well, it comes in a wide range of color choices, and allows air to pass through it. It can also be trained to fold when you are using it for a Roman shade. Silk is a beautiful fabric for window shades. It comes in a variety of weights, is long wearing and durable. Some of the finest oriental rugs that have lasted for several hundreds of years are made from silk. You will need to interline the silk when you are using it for a Roman shade. Linen is light and casual and it has a fine luster. It's a very strong fabric and is stain resistant. But linen also wrinkles easily, so it is best to use some sort of lining material when using this type of fabric for shades. Linen fabrics are wonderful for relaxed London shades. Acrylic or polyester fabric is a great synthetic to blend with the natural fabrics like cotton to increase durability. It's also color fast, which means the color will not run or fade with washing or wear. It is stain resistant and has sun resistant qualities not found in natural fabrics like cotton and linen. Polyester is very hard to train to fold. We suggest using a 100% cotton lining and sometimes even using inner lining if you choose an acrylic or polyester. The Roman shade linings that we recommend, as you'll note, are all cotton. We have the classic sateen, classic napped, inner lining. The first lining we will discuss is the classic sateen. 
It's a premium sateen drapery lining. Classic sateen is a heavyweight sateen with a softened luster finish. It is 100% cotton, 1.33 sateen, and is 54 inches in width. It's available in white or ivory. It has a very softened luster. It's crease, water, and stain resistant, and you can purchase it from the Home Fashion Shoe. Classic Nap is another lining that we recommend. The sateen side of the fabric is finished with the familiar softened luster of Classic Sateen. The fibers on the back side of the fabric are raised to give the fabric its luxurious hand and full body for enhanced drapeability for shade lining. It's 100% cotton, 1.33 sateen, napped, and 54 inches in width. It's available in white, ivory, and khaki. It does have the softened luster. It is thermal and noise insulation. It has water and stain resistance. And it's much like having inner lining fastened to the back side of the lining. Inner lining is a flannel like cotton fabric that hangs between the face fabric and the lining. Inner lining is used by high-end custom drapery workrooms. It's a technique that will make your window treatments hang beautifully and look professional. It's available in natural or white. It's 54 inches wide, 100% cotton. It is not the same as inner facing and can be purchased at the Home Fashion Shoe. Out Black Lining is a one-pass foam-coated product that offers light exclusion with superb soft hand and drape. It is a 100% cotton substrate. It's available in 54-inch and 110-inch widths, available in white and ivory. It is a one-pass foam coating with electrostatically flocked rayon, so it offers light exclusion, thermal and noise insulation, and can be purchased at the Home Fashion Shoe. To calculate our fabric, we will be estimating the face shade fabric, which is the front side of the shade. When measuring for an inside mount shade, you are going to want to take three measurements across the width of the window. You will use your smallest measurement for the width of your shade. An inside mounted shade is installed inside your window casing or frame. You will measure the inside top of the window to the bottom of the window sill for your length. When you are measuring for an outside mount shade, you may want to allow two inches beyond the frame on both sides of the window casing. The height is normally about four inches above the window and down to the bottom of the window sill. You will have occasions when you need to have shades that are wider than 48 inches. So when you need a few more inches for the width of the shade, you cut the center fabric a little smaller and then add the sides so that the shade will look balanced. An easy tip for matching your fabric pattern is to fold and press the edge of your fabric and lay it over the center piece of fabric that you have on your table. Then you want to use Sela tape 
to tape that together and it is perfectly matched every time. Sila tape may be purchased at the Home Fashion Shoe. Let's look at some Roman Shade supplies all available at the Home Fashion Jew. We have brass rings that are commonly used on the bottom of the shade. They can also be used up the length of the shade, it's up to you. We have plastic UV stabilized rings. We have hook eyes that are used to guide the shade cord at the top of the shade. We also have shade cord in stock. Next we have a handy tool that is a hook eye driver that you can put into your drill in order to drive your hook eyes into your mount board. Real time saver. Next we have something that's very important. That is a cord cleat and must be installed on the wall to keep any and all cords out of the reach of children. We also have a cord minimizer that allows you to take several cords and combine them into one cord that is safer. Uh, heading down from the top of the shade. We also carry a shrouded shade cord that is recommended for safety.
You need a work area because you need to be able to keep your fabric square as you work with it. In the photos, we are making a lined shade without inner lining. If you do not have a canvas table grid surface, you can use a contractor square and tape to outline a true square. When your fabric is square, your shade will hang straight. In our Roman shade overview, you can see that we have four inches at the top for attaching our shade to our mount board. We have a hem allowance of 10 inches, which allows for a five plus five double fold hem. And then in between, we have spaced our spines or our ribs or our battens at six inch intervals. Now you will always have a slight excess of fabric and you can use anything between six and seven inches to be very safe with the spacing on your shade, but there will always be probably just a little excess and it's very common to position the small amounts of extra length into the top fold. So if you have two inches or three inches left, just fold it into that top fold and it'll look just fine. Um, the safety regulations that we are looking at when we talk about a seven inch spacing indicate that the first thing we are going to do is cut our fabric and our lining. Paula is a student at the Home Fashion Jew. She's cutting her lining and face fabric using the canvas table grip for measuring the cuts. You can order that here. We will begin by marking and pressing our side hems. With the face fabric face down on your table, you will measure a one and a half inch side hem on each side and mark it using your fabric folding pen. The fabric folding pen creates a fold line in the fabric for easy folding and ironing. Then we will measure and press our lining side hems. This time we will create a one inch fold line on the lining fabric with the fabric folding pen and press in place. We will then place the right sides of our fabric together. The lining lays one half inch inside the face fabric. Since the face fabric has a one and a half inch fold side hem and the lining has a one inch fold side hem, they line up with each other within the shade. Next, we can mark and press our bottom hem. With the wrong sides of the face fabric and lining together, you can fold the hem in place at the bottom of the shade. Your shade hem is a double fold hem. So if it's a five inch hem, I fold the fabric up 10 inches and press and then fold the 10 inch in half to create the double five inch hem. You can adjust that amount for various hem sizes. Next, we will measure and mark our rib placement. We will start five inches above the double hem fold line so that we're basically starting at what will be the top of our folded hem. We will mark our rib lines according to our measurements all the way up the length of the shade. Mark just on the outer edges of the lining and the fabric. This is so that Next, we want to add our rib tape to the shade. After you mark your rib lines, turn your lining fabric over with the wrong side up and iron on the rib tape 
It has adhesive on both edges so it will adhere very well. You want to take it all the way to the sides of the lining. You will then slide your plastic rib into that opening. You should cut your rib one inch shorter than the width of the lining. Now that we have the ribs inserted, we will place the fabric of the lining wrong side together with the face fabric and match the marks on both sides of the layers. It's time to attach the lining and face fabric with sealotape. You can use one half inch sealotape or three eighths inch sealotape, either one. You want to fold your bottom hem in place. Note that it's folded at an angle on the inside. This prevents it from showing any raw edges at the bottom of the shade. You may repress if needed. You want to tape close your hems, but once again you want to fold the corner at an angle and tuck the raw edge away and adhere the shade hem in place with Stila tape. Leave one side of the hem open until you slide your weight bar in, then you can tape it closed. Next we're going to cover our mount board and attach our shade. You cover the mount board with face fabric for an outside mounted shade and you can use lining if it's for an inside mounted shade. Pretend you're wrapping a gift and just staple the fabric in place as you go. Note the exact measurement for mounting the board to the shade. Line the fabric up evenly on the mount board before you staple it in place. The next thing we do is thread our shade and add our controls. You will, if you are using a cord lock, you will want to install it slightly in from the end of your mount board so that the last line of your vertical cording will actually go in through the smaller opening shown on the drawing. That is so that your lift 
chords are not visible in, on the side of the shade, they're behind the shade and hidden. You have a large opening on the other side for the multiple chords that will be coming from the interior of the shade. You will note that there are wires in the bottom of the chord lock, and that's to keep your chords separate and to keep things moving smoothly. There are instructions included with the chord locks. There are two installation options, an inside mount where the shade is secured inside the window itself with two or more screws and it hangs within the window opening, or an outside mount where the shade is secured with L brackets to the molding or on the wall above the window opening. PDF instructions have been included in this class. You simply need to print them. The RBS Roman Blind System is a wonderful headrail system that uses a B Thank you very much for attending this class on Roman Shades, and we appreciate your comments and your feedback. Contact us if we can help you in any way at Home Fashions You, or you can call Claudia at 623-878-7350. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Notice the press lines in the hem. If you were making a cordless shade, you would now use the sealer tape to tape the face fabric and the lining together. Next, you would tape the hem in place, leaving an opening at the side of the hem to insert the weight bar at the bottom of the shade. The weight bar will allow you, your shade to lift up and down easily. Next, we will sew the rings to the shade. You can sew the UV white rings onto the shade at the outer edge of each rib. If you need to sew rings within the shade, you would sew them at the same time at the height of each rib. Again, your ring spacing would be 8 to 12 inches apart. We recommend that you use a safety shade lift system consists of a 3 to 6 foot custom finished heavy duty spring roller lift system comes in four different sizes and weights for several shade styles. The maximum shade size is 72 inches wide by 70 inches long and weighs up to 15 pounds. Minimum projection is two and a half inches. This shade system is completely assembled to the mounting board. You will need to attach your shade to the board, install the battens or ribs, and the, the safety shade lift system includes the roller tube, battens or ribs, J-guides, and an energy-efficient solar screen backing material cut to a width up to 6 feet. The 1 and 3 quarter inch diameter roller tube is assembled with lift sheet attached to the mounting board that has been cut to customer specified width. Please include the width and length so that we can provide the correct supplies. Outside mount or inside mount, safety shade will take a 1 half inch 
deduction of the width on inside mount shades. You can watch the videos here.